guys, thank you for joining me here today where I'm going to show you how you can make one of these. Now this is a foam cushion or a fabric foam stand, a foam bean bag, whatever you'd like to call it. It is a great project for beginners. It is a very quick project if you're a more advanced sewer. It's great for using up scrap material and it makes a really cute little gift too. So if this sounds like something that you would like to do, stick around and let's watch. The first thing that you need to do is lay your piece of fabric flat on a table and fold it in half like this so that the outside or what's going to be the outside is facing in. You are going to place some pins two centimetres away from the edge and we're placing pins here just to kind of mark out where we need to leave a hole for our stuffing when it comes to filling it later. So we're going to sew along these two edges here, apart from this gap in the middle where we're going to leave open so that we can stuff it. I did this with a one centimetre seam allowance and that worked out just great for me. Careful when you come to the corner, make sure your needle stays in as you turn so you get a nice crisp edge and make sure your press foot goes back down again. We're going to sew to the second pin now and remove our work from the machine. So in the little section here, all that's left, and you may want to go over these sections two or three times just to add a bit of strength there. At the one open edge, you're going to turn it so that the seam is now in the middle. And then get your ruler and pins again. And you're going to do exactly the same measurements as you did the first time because we actually need two gaps in this to stuff it because we have two separate compartments. Sew along the top edge like we just did before, again leaving a gap in between the pins. So your work is now ready to turn the right way around. So get your fingers in there and start turning. Now it may look a little bit weird at this point, so if you pull your fingers in the gaps that we left the stuffing to push the corners out, it should look like what it needs to. We're pretty much almost there now, just a few more things to sew. So to work out where we go next and where to stand, you need to flip your work until you find the edge with the seam going down the middle. Now this is going to be the bottom so that seam is hidden. With a tailor's chalk or a fabric pen you're going to mark with the measurement shown on screen and join those up. Now this is just a guide for where you're going to sew in case your sewing machine doesn't have measurements on it. So it should look a little something like this. You're now going to sew directly over those lines and this is going to create the section for your phone to sit. Now you will see this thread, so make sure it's the colour that you're happy with. I did it in a dark colour just so you could see it in the video. And that is pretty much it now in terms of using the sewing machine. Grab yourself some stuffing. I used recycled filling here. Place it inside the hole. You can use a pencil or a paintbrush or something to help it go in. And once that's filled to your liking, you stitch it up. Now you don't want to put too much stuffing in. It doesn't want to be overfilled. It just wants to be nice and soft. Grab a needle and thread so you can sew up that hole. Again, you want to be using a similar color thread I'm just using a dark one so you can see it in the video. Now the best way of closing this is to use a ladder stitch. It can be tri tricky if you've never done it before, but keep going and you'll get it. So working within the fold that you created when you turned your work inside out, you're going to place the needle, bring it across to the other edge and do a stitch within that fold. Bring it across to the other edge, make a stitch within the fold and then you're going to keep doing that going across and up until you've filled it then pull those stitches tight until there's no gap. 
because you don't want these to come out, just make a knot at the end. I put my needle through, wrap the thread around and then pull tight. Trim off any excess thread and you're good to go with the next part. Now I use rice to add a bit of weight, stability, so it will not fall over. Give it a bit of jiggle with a funnel, or you could just roll up some paper if you don't have a funnel. And I like to tap it a few times on the ground to get all the rice to sit flat before filling the rest with the same stuffing as I did before. Again, it doesn't want to be too full and absolutely bursting, just nice and soft. And with the final hole, this is the final thing that we need to do, is to stitch it again with a ladder stitch. So here's the ladder stitch again but a bit faster and a bit closer, so hopefully this is a bit clearer if it wasn't before. So you can see why it's called a ladder stitch, because it kind of looks like you're creating the rungs of a ladder in between the two sides of your work. All the way up to the top, and then pull it shut. Make the knot again. And to finish it off, I like to put the needle up to the top, squeeze it a bit, and then when you trim, the thread's hidden inside. And that is it. Here is your phone stand. Thank you for coming to the end of the video today. If you enjoyed it, and if you think you're going to make something like this, post in the comments. I love hearing when my videos have inspired someone. Thank you so much for watching with me today. I post weekly creative content, so if you liked it, stick around. And I will see you next time.